Hello there everyone, good to have you with me. It's another Whiskey Waffle. So I hope you're all doing well, I hope you've been enjoying the videos so far. Um, do subscribe, do like, I know I say it every week, but please do, that would be great. Especially that little blue hand down there, give it a good old press, that would be fantastic. Um, so I hope you've been enjoying your whiskies. Um, I wonder if anybody's chosen anything new or different or tried something different or as of last week we talked about drinking your whiskey different. I wonder if anyone's tried that. Let me know. It'd be great to find out. Um, anyway, so the weather's turned a bit. It's a bit cooler today. Um, I keep hearing of people putting their heating on so uh, I wonder if you're one of them. I know we are. Uh, just, just in the evening it's getting a little chilly. So great to get that whiskey out. Warm yourself up from the inside out. Perfect. Anyway, moving on. So today, in the news this week has been um, the young lad, 28-year-old chap, whose father has bought him a bottle of Macallan every year for his birthday. And he was under strict instructions not to open um, these bottles of Macallan. And he didn't. He managed to resist. And now at the uh, age of 28, he has 28 bottles of whiskey. Um, and they're consecutive years, consecutive vintages, which is known as a vertical, so he has a vertical of whiskey, and he is auctioning them off to buy his first house. Now, he's not buying the entire house with that collection, let's not get too carried away just yet, but he is able to save up for a deposit with it, which is fantastic, you know, good for him. Um, so his dad apparently um, paid about £5,000 was his investment over the years on these whiskies. The auctioneers are now saying they're worth about 40 grand, so that's a pretty decent down payment for your first house. Um, so I'm sure there's a lot of you that want to rush out there and go, we, we need to collect whiskey, you know, this is a great thing to collect. Well, just be careful, um, I would say, doing that. Um, whiskey is a fantastic thing to collect. It has gone up in prices. Certain whiskies have gone up in prices, but not all of them, and not necessarily the ones you always expect to. So I've been quite interested recently. There's a lot of distilleries out there, and they are producing whiskies almost kind of to um, collect. They're like collectible whiskies. They're sort of special editions and things like that. And Quite a number of them are doing this, um, but of course if you get a special edition whiskey, you may well, well find that it goes up in price, but you also might find that a lot of people buy it and nobody drinks it. There's something called flipping, so this is when you buy a bottle of whiskey purely with the idea that you're going to sell it on. And I've also read quite a few articles whereby the distilleries and or people working at distilleries are saying, you know what, we make whiskey for people to drink and to enjoy, and we put a lot of time and effort into what goes into the bottle. And people are buying these and then whacking them on the shelves and leaving them there for years. So they're not drinking them. It's like actually we could put anything in there. You know, it doesn't the quality of what's inside is almost a bit immaterial if all people do is keep them or flip them. Now Tricky, tricky, um, because obviously investment is something people like to do, people like to buy different whiskies, and I'm not saying you should drink all your whisky, um, but perhaps there needs to be a little bit more thought, maybe to some extent, behind what you're buying and why you're buying it. Um, my recommendation actually would be to buy whisky that you enjoy, or whisky that means something to you. So it might be that um, you've lived near the place, or you've worked there, or you've got connections somehow, or it could just be as simple as you had a really, really great visit to a particular distillery. Um, I've got some pictures here of me at particular distilleries. And I must admit, I've bought some whiskey from those distilleries, and they're sitting in a cupboard, because actually, I quite like the memory that they give me. So every time I open that cupboard and I see them, I, I'm sort of transported back to that moment when we were having fun and we were looking around the distillery, sometimes the weather was a bit wild and and it's got happy memories. Now if those whiskies go up in value, fantastic, you know, I might in time sell them on, who knows, but at the same time I'm not buying them with the thought that they're going to definitely go up because then if they don't go up in value it doesn't matter. Um, I think there's been a big increase in value recently um, throughout the sort of last 10 years or more and certain whiskies like this Macallan set you know they've really gone up in value 
and I was talking to somebody recently and he knew the Japanese whiskies quite well and he did say how he remembered you know there was a Yamazaki uh, 12 year old which he purchased at about 60 pounds 60 UK pounds and now you'd be hard pushed to get it with change for 200 so um, you know they, they do go up in value but like I say it's quite tricky often there's something called the the cast strength so you might have seen them or the, the I should say the single cast or some of the limited editions that are single cask sometimes they can go up in value more um, mainly because they are so limited it's just what's in that barrel but other times like these Yamazakis you know it's just a regular single malt Yamazaki 12 um, and it's suddenly there's not much left of it and it's very hard to get hold of so so yeah, so when it comes to the collections, it's not always the ones you think, and make sure there's something more, I would say, than just just buying it for a collection. Um, so yeah, that's all I really wanted to say today. I just keep it nice and brief, and go out and enjoy your whiskey. Um, have some memories attached to the bottles you buy. Drink some of them, invite friends around, really enjoy them, because that's actually what they're there for. Um, Sometimes you can buy small bottles as well of it, sometimes that's worthwhile. Or what a lot of people do if you've got the money is they buy one and keep one. So they might buy two. I actually met someone who bought three. So he had one, his son had one and he had one to keep. Um, great if you've got that kind of money. Um, so go for it. But yeah, just, just buy what you like. Have those memories attached. Um, but just be careful when it comes to actually investing in a collection. Because it's not always quite so straightforward to ensure you get a good return. Okay, all right, take care then. See you soon. Bye.